All right, in this video, we're going to work on the following problem. Uh, it says write a GUI application. Well, we haven't really started the GUI uh, part of the class yet, so we will just write a, a, a non-GUI application right, that allows the user to choose a text file. The program will display the text file in a text area. Okay, in another text area, display the number of times each word occurs in the text file. Uh, so I'm not going to um, display uh, the uh, text file. Um, uh, the main part that I am concerned about is display the number of times each word occurs in the text file. All right, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so the data file I have is a Tale of Two Cities, right, by Charles Dickens. This is the entire uh, text. Uh, so you can see it's pretty long, okay? So um, that's uh, the thing that we're going to use to test this out, and uh, the text file we're going to use to test this out. And so let's um, uh, do this. So it's going to be import uh, java.io.asterisk, import java.util.asterisk. Um, uh, And set up our class, public class, word analyzer, and our main method, public static void main string args. Uh, and then we are going to uh, try with resources. I guess we might as well go ahead and, and start with our map first, right? Uh, so uh, in our map, we are going to be counting words. So the words will be the keys, right? And then the number of occurrences is going to be the values. Okay. And uh, then uh, we want a file reader. And I forget, I'm supposed to ask the user to, to enter the um, to enter the uh, file name. So scanner in equals new scanner system dot in system dot out dot printlin. Enter the file name. in dot next line. All right, and so then this would be a file name here. All right, uh, wrap the file reader in a buffered reader object. E, and this time I'm just going to quit, right? And an IO exception. And here I'm just going to quit too if something goes wrong. All right, let's see. That should go. All right, looks good so far. All right, and then we are going to read. 
Uh, so string line equals uh, br dot read line, and then while line is not equal to null, then we're going to drop into that loop where we start reading. Okay, and let's just do system dot out dot primlin, and then um, line equals br dot read line. So read another line. All right, so, and that should print out every line if we type in the right name. There's some funky characters in there, so. And some characters here, but that's okay. All right, so what we're gonna do then now is, it's reading the lines, what we're gonna do is split the lines uh, so um, that gives us an array of strings, right? And let's call them parts or words, I guess. And that's going to be a line dot split. And that should split them around the uh, space. And let's print that out. Or at least start printing it out. Uh, that's going to be array dot two string words. Just kind of take a look at what we're getting when we do that. So raise that two string. All right, so there you can kind of see what we are getting, right, when we split that up. All right, and so then what we want to do is um, now then uh, go through each of those uh, words that we encounter. Okay. And so what we would do then is write a loop to go over this array. So for word in the uh, array words right and process that and what we want to do is uh, we want to see um, whether or not um, the key is in there or not okay um, so if map dot contains key and the key we're looking for is word. All right, so if map.contains key word is true, right, that means that there is already a key value pair in the map, right, with word as its key, okay? So what we would do then is we want to update that. All right, so that would be map dot replace word. Okay, and then what we would want is we would need to get the old value. Okay, so the old value associated with word would be map dot get word. And that's going to return an int or an integer, and then we want to increase that by one. Okay. So map.replace, right? We're going to update the value associated with word, okay? 
to do that, what we're going to do is that means we found another occurrence of that word, right? And so this fishes out the old value that's already in the map. We add one to it and then we replace that value here. So we're updating, right? We're increasing the value associated with word by one is what we're doing here. All right. And so if this is false, right, that means that there is no key in the map, right? Uh, named word. And so what we would want to do in that case is add it in there. So we would add, uh, put rather, word. And then the value that we would put, right, is one in this case. And I forgot a semicolon up here. And it looks, no, I guess it's OK. All right, so this is what would happen if we uh, find a, um, a, uh, a word that we found for the very first time. OK. All right, so let's uh, run our way through that. And down at the bottom, Let's print the map out. So system.out.println map. And we'll just do that first. And let's not make this uh, print out anymore. See where's that other line where I'm printing it right here. Get rid of that. All right, and so there you go. You can see right. We get a map with the word count in here. It's not perfect because uh, just due to the encoding that I've got, um, I'm getting some weird. Um, characters in there and then you can see sometimes it contains these commas and whatnot so we didn't really process uh, everything like we like we should have there's some white space in there that we probably need to go through and clean up uh, but we're not going to do it in this video okay um, so um, I give you a homework assignment uh, similar to this right and the wor words I tested were uh, get where was right? I counted that up and incredulity. When I when I graded your programs, uh, so uh, this was like seventeen thirty six or something, and incredulity was was one. So let's see what values we get. Print known. Man, oh man. All right, so we get a null on that, so that's not good. And this value is off uh, here, so. Uh, I wonder if that's one of the words that's messed up. Let's take a look at it. Oh, I know what it was. Yeah, it was incredulity with a comma in there. That's what I. That's why because we're just using split here, we won't get it perfect unless we put that comma in there. That's the reason. So there's the one, and that's a lot lower count. But again, I told you there's some serious flaws with the the way we're doing this, but. Um, the, the main thing is not to get this perfect, right, uh, unless you're turning it in for a grade. But uh, here is I want you to show you how, how this part works. Uh, so I want to do one more thing, and that is I want to uh, go through this using, um, uh, using Canvas so you can kind of see what's going on here. Okay, so uh, let's run through this until we get to the good part. Oops. All right, here we can see line. So that's the line we read. Oh man, 
Okay, but it's a short one. Here's the array words, how it was split. And let's get the map in here. Where is that at? Here it is. Let's see if I can figure out how to get back to the key values. Okay, it is under key value. All right, so you can see we have nothing in the map right now. Then we're going to start iterating over this um, over this array words right here. Okay, and so we're going to go in, and the first word is um, actually a Roman numeral. All right, and so now. Then I'm going to check, hey, does this map contain uh, the Roman numeral 1 in a period as a key? And the answer, of course, is no, right? Because there's nothing in this map already. So it's you're going to see it's going to jump down here, and it's going to put one uh, Roman numeral 1 period and a 1 as its value. All right, so there it is. All right, and keep going. Next word is the. Right? And again, there's no key value pair in here with a key of the. So you're going to see it's going to drop down to this else part. It's going to put that key value pair in there. And then um, the next word is period. Right, It's going to, uh, again, period is not a key in, uh, in the map yet. So it's going to add that in there, all with ones. Okay. All right, then it's going to read the next line. It was the best of times. All right, and as I iterate through there, you're going to see the map grow. And I don't think any of those repeats, right? All right, so you can see our map is getting larger. More key value pairs in there. All right, where did... Yeah. And all of is not even in there yet. All right, so though when I read the next line, right, surely there's going to be a repeated word in there. Yes. All right, so here we go. Um, so now, lowercase it, I guess, is still not in there. That's another thing we haven't counted for, the capitals, right, and those things. All right, so now finally we get to an example, right, where uh, the current word is was, right, and that is already one of the keys in there, right? And so you're going to see what the, it's going to drop into this line. Map.contains keyword, right, it's going to be true because there is a key value uh, pair in the map that has was as the key. And so therefore it is going to drop to this line, map.replace. Right, and so map dot replace. What it's going to do is replace the va the value for one, and this is what it's going to set it to. So map dot get word will fish the one out of here, right, and increase it by one. So you're going to see this value update to a two, right, like so. All right, and then you're going to see a bunch of twos as we move forward. All right, and so you can see that it will keep track of the words uh, that are in here, and it does so uh, pretty efficiently, right? You can imagine the other way to do this would be with a list, right, or an array, but with a list or an array, um, you know, those are indexed by, by integers, and so you would have to look up, hey, where is the location of 
was in the list or the array. Find where that was and then do the updating. Now here, we don't have to do that, right? Here, uh, these numbers, these counts are indexed by the words themselves. So basically cut out the index, the middleman. And so you can see that's a lot efficient. Uh, some um, task like this that you would have to do is a uh, map is just kind of tailor-made for it, okay? All right, so that does it on this one.